it just lays down so nice. The nozzle's actually, I think, uh, Hi, and welcome back. I think tonight, uh, I'm just gonna apologize up front. It's gonna probably be a pretty short video. Life started a new series on TV. I fell asleep during it, and she watched all the way up till midnight, so it's about 12.30 right now, and I'm just now coming out here, and I got work in the morning, so I think tonight, I'm gonna discuss how I plan on fixing that. Then we'll scrape the uh, rail over here. Hopefully paint that, it's not too bad. And then uh, scrape the front inner fender, get that painted. And may paint this side over here because we got some more self etching primer. That is what we have before. So should be the same color. We'll just use this one on the inner fender up front, but Bought this one at Napa for about 12 bucks, I think, 12, 13 bucks. And this one found at O'Reilly's for 10 bucks. So we'll be going there to get this for now on. Uh, I mean, we've got two cans so we can do some damage tonight. I think on this side here, I'm just gonna brush it off with a paper towel. And hopefully this will work fine going over that old, that uh, Rust-Oleum. Anyways, let's uh, head over here and I'll show you what I'm going to do about this and show you what that stripper did. Yeah, that's what the stripper did on this front fender. It seems to kind of have worked. Maybe. Right through here, it's this dried. Look pretty good here, so we may have to uh, use that grinder on this part. Really wish it worked better than that. And I don't really know what this is. Don't remember there being anything underneath it, but we'll uh, take that off and see see what that looks like. Pink coat that with the same color. Hopefully, I'll. Get it even, it won't be all strappy. Do that tonight as well. Need to knock this off right here. There you go, and go over that again. May take some sandpaper to it. That's some of that uh, stripper that I didn't get off. This seemed to turn out all right. Tell you, pull that off by hand. Hopefully most of this will come up pretty easy. Looks like it will. So I'll do that. Except for that part, it's kind of dried on. in this area here. Kind of wish it didn't have this indention here, but of course, my plan is to cut it out all the way to here. And of course, up to up there to cut that just a big square out. And what's left, I'm gonna try to put down these bottom piece strips first, straight across. So it looks like a couple spot welds right there. Anyways, lay this base down first. And then lay the top across and then go in with my angles later that's the way i plan on doing it i may just get it cut out and maybe too much for me to uh, do but, but i gotta fix it I'm not really sure what's underneath there either it's on the frame we can go there and look right quick okay i don't know if you can tell but back over here you can kind of see it up there that's where the hole is. And it's that brace that runs across there. So that brace. You can see that's, that's our hole right there. That's the hole in the bed and the brace that goes across. Anyways, let's go back top side.
All right. This did not want to come up with the uh, stripper, so kind of sanded some here, and it's taking us way too long. So I decided to put more and kind of get a little bit thicker. As you can already see, it's starting to bubble up pretty good. Uh, gonna let it go overnight, maybe tomorrow or this weekend we can uh, scrape it back off and see what we got. Hopefully it won't be much sanding to do, but I uh, got my doubts on areas like this that's already starting to dry, so. But then we came over here, duplicolor on that, and I like how that looks. It just lays down so nice. The nozzle's actually, I think, uh, sprays it out at an angle, kind of like that. So you get a consistent line that you can overlap. That's why it looks, I don't think I see any tiger straps in it. But we'll see. But it's the same color, so. So it makes me happy. And then we sanded this down and sprayed the rest oleum. So I got my straps back. It's because the rest oleum sprays in a circle. So depending on how close or far away you are, it's gonna be more concentrated than that Y is or the Duple color. So this weekend I'm probably gonna go to the store and get some duple color uh, flat black or something and spray these inner fenders with it. Since the fender's gonna be over it anyways, uh, I think that'd be good enough. On stuff like this, I don't know if it's worth my time to try to take that off. Just thinking about spraying it over with the dupa color and just making it one color. Let me know your thoughts on that. If I should try to sand this all back down to metal or not. But I like how it's looking. I like this green etching primer look. But uh, next time too, I'm gonna clean clean the top of the tubs off. We might cut that out. Or it might not, I'm not 100% sure on that, but more than likely we'll be cleaning, prepping for paint. Hopefully, that's yeah, starting to bubble up pretty good. Hopefully this will all come up and we can paint this whole side next time. Well, I think that'll do it for me tonight. I said sorry, uh, another just painting and sanding video, but hopefully this weekend Gonna try to make one video it was taking this whole side off the rest of that uh, front panel or the front air fender taking that and taking this strip across the top of the bed here and maybe the tubs i'm not sure i get that far in one video but next video maybe just a bunch of sanding getting it ready because i like to paint the tubs and the uh, rest of the bed all at one time but we do gotta get in here get all this cleaned up anyways uh Thank you for watching if you made it this far. If you're new to the channel, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know it seems like it's just sanding and painting on this, but kind of want to get all the rust treated as best I can. I don't know how long it's going to set like this. Anyways, if you like this kind of stuff, please like, comment, and subscribe. It does help the channel out a lot. Hopefully next week we'll move on from sanding in the bed area. Might move into the cab, start grinding those welds down. Prepping the pasture side, uh, some etching primer for paint, and we may even start stripping the dash to get that all down. Thank you again, and uh, we'll keep at it. I'll see you next time.